baby. What is up everybody? Welcome back. In this video, we are creating a baseline. So we're we're gonna do a little bit mixing here with the baseline. So just to prepare you for the fifth part, but let's do it. So first I wanna show you what baseline is, what I mean by it. Let's listen to our hook and then we're gonna listen to the verse. I want you to listen and hear if you can spot a difference. Listen. So if you spot a difference, you will say that this part over here is a little bit louder and it has a bass. It's deeper. And this one part this part over here is like thin. It's small compared to this one. See? This one has more stuff to it. So that's what it is. It has a bass line. So let's let's see how can we take a baseline from this part and use it for this part over here. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna extract the baseline. So how do we extract the baseline? First you wanna copy this part down here once. Then we wanna cl click this button. Let's zoom in. Click this button. Make unique. Okay, click it. Make make sure it's make unique. Next thing we're gonna copy this part four four times. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Awesome. Now what we want to do is double click on it and then under track we want to put it to number one. And this, let's open up the mixer. You can click this button. And here we have our insert number one. It says this is the track number one. This is what we did. So this is where our bass is, right? So now what we want to do is under slot one. Let me just show you that this is our bass. See? So under slot one, go to uh, select and EQ, fruity parametric EQ number two. And then you want to right click here, go to mastering and then select this first thing. Okay. Now you have some lines created, shit doesn't matter. Click the last line, drag it to something like this. Let's listen to, the, to it now. Oh yeah. Now you can hear it. This is the baseline. Now you can hear the difference, right? Okay, let's select the first one as well. You have these dots. I don't know if you can see them. They are glowing and doing some shit. I don't know. Anyways, let's move this one to something like this. Let's move it back a little bit. Okay, so that's what we have. Make sure it's like this. Close it. And now we have our baseline. Let's listen to it. Let's turn everything on and let's listen. See? Now it's better. But it's still too loud, right? So let's uh, turn it down a little bit. Turn it down to something like here. Let's listen. Okay, that's way better than this. I think I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Awesome, so we just created a bass line because our verse had no bass line whatsoever. So that's that, that's, f that's it for this video. So that's how you extract the baseline. Basically, find, I'm saying bass so much, holy shit. So find a part that has a baseline, put it into one track, and basically use the parametric EQ, which I just fucked up. Use the parametric EQ and make sure you cut it. And that's what you have. All right, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video where I'm going to show you how to create a reverse reverb. So that's it. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, <laughs>